the celery juice is a little bit potent so it's kind of hard to get down today but anyways hello welcome to another video today we're gonna do a what i eat in a day and i'm also gonna show my calories and macros for the day which i don't count calories but i thought i would just show um today in case anyone is curious what else um today is just gonna kind of be a more chill day which i'm very excited about i find myself the last like year and a half just way too busy i definitely am one who likes to prioritize more slow living um and the last year and a half i've just completely lost that mainly because of work just busy and just life i find even if i don't need to rush like i'm just rushing and then i'll get stressed trying to get things done and then i'll be like kelsey why are you even rushing there's literally no point and your your blood pressure is going up uh so anyways so that's something that i'm going to work on about five years ago i found a podcast called optimal living daily highly recommend and it kind of got me into the realm of like slow living um conscious living just you know minimalism that kind of realm and it makes so much sense to me but the last year and a half just like with work and life and training for a marathon and everything um i've just found myself rushing all the time and being busy and I just want to get back to more calm, slow living. So yeah, going to focus that on that today and every day. I'm going to try to have that mindset. Um, it's going to be a lot of work, <laughs> but it's so worth it. Like I just, I'll keep you updated with how my slow living life is going. <laughs> um, I feel like it doesn't help being at, working at like a fast paced job. I work at like a restaurant, which if you've ever worked in a restaurant, you know, it's hard to be like calm sometimes and just like relaxed. That's kind of just like <sighs> go, go, go. But I'm gonna try anyways. Um, just coming into fall, in winter, I just feel like I want to just chill more and yeah, just enjoy this amazing life that I live. I'm also reading this book, which I'm going to finish my celery juice and read um, once I'm done talking. Um, it's called Do Nothing, How to Break Away from Overworking, Overdoing, and Underliving. So it's kind of helping to motivate me. I honestly don't love it wouldn't recommend but it's okay i'm almost i'm getting to the end all right i hope everyone is doing really well thank you so much for being here um i'm trying really hard to grow my channel it's a little bit difficult because i am like working other jobs but that's okay so anywho what i'm trying to say is subscribe if you haven't please and thank you it really really helps me out and i appreciate it so much and yeah i hope you enjoy this video today let's do it i'm gonna read and then we'll uh have some breakfast i'm going to try and make a juice with um oranges pineapple and mango no, like, softer fruits do not juice in my juicer well. So I have my blender. I'm going to throw them all in here, blend them up, and then strain it in cheesecloth. And we'll see how that goes. So I have three, like, medium-sized navel oranges. I have two mangoes, like a container of pineapple like all the kind of leftover yuckier pieces of pineapple um and yeah i just kind of feel like a tropical juice i was debating putting ginger in too i think that'd be really good but yeah i'm just like not feeling like it this ginger kind of like overpowers the taste and i really want to like taste the fruit so yeah bear with me i hope this works because i think that'll be really 
really yummy. So I'm just gonna chop it all up, throw it in the blender, and yeah. It's getting full. <laughs> just gotta do my mangoes. <clears throat> so in one month, I'm running my first marathon, hopefully. Not like a race, just gonna do it on my own and see how that goes. And then I'm gonna probably take like two weeks off from like working out. Haven't taken much of a break from working out since I started training for my marathon, which was back in the spring, in April. So it's been like a couple months. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. I'm very excited to get it done. Um, and then for the remainder of December, then January and February, I'm going to still run. I want to like maintain my like running fitness, but I'm also going to focus more on like building some muscle, like strength training and getting a little bit more toned um for like the winter and then for March and April I'm going to um kind of go back into marathon training because I am signed up to run the Toronto Marathon which I believe is the beginning of May um we'll see with like all this COVID stuff going on but as of right now that's happening <laughs> and now like uh, like, I signed up for it, like, two years ago, but because of COVID, like, it moved. Um, and, yeah, I, after, like, training for this first marathon, I'm just kind of like, oh, my God, I don't want to do it. But, whatever. Even if I do it, go slow, and, like, take a couple hours to finish, like, I don't need to be in a rush at all. Like I was saying, like, I can just... Like, I'm not a professional, I'm not. Sorry, one sec, this is dripping. Down my sleeve. Um, yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm not trying to win this thing. So if taking longer means that I'm less stressed about like training, then whatever, It. who cares, right? I think it'll just be a really cool experience to like do that. So anywho, that's my like fitness workout plan. Um, just kind of in my peak training, I guess right now, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I feel like I should be running more and like longer, but then I'm just like, whatever it's just kind of stressing me out at this point to like think of how much more I should be actually running and how much like I don't want to run more <laughs> I'm pretty happy with where I'm at but again like if it takes me like five or six hours to finish like why does that matter no one cares like um I have this like thought in the back of my mind people are gonna be like oh my god you're so slow but it's like no one's gonna do that and if they are like they probably never ran a marathon like it really doesn't matter I'm just doing this for me and just to do it and see how it feels so anyways that's where I'm at with my training um still getting a lot of runs in still doing like for a week getting a decent amount of kilometers. Just feel like I could be doing more, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Anywho. Um, okay. I think I'm ready to blend this. This is a full on blender. It's gonna be a lot of juice, but I'm excited. I think it'll be so yum. Okay, please work. Ah. Nothing's coming out. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Slip in. <gasps> no. Okay.
it is. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. Wow. So, I also have like that left over. Which I'm just going to like put in a mason jar in the fridge and then I'll use it tomorrow for like a smoothie. But the cheesecloth, I just didn't have enough and it was getting too like full. So, yeah. I just made this. It's really good. I thought the pineapple was going to be like really overpowering, but they all, three of the fruits, really like blend together nicely. Tastes really good. So yeah, I'm going to drink that and then I'm going to get out for a run. I haven't decided yet. I haven't planned this week of runs. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do today. I need to plan them out like when I'm gonna have my long runs when I'm gonna have shorter ones um just kind of like my workouts for the week I need to do that um and yeah and then I'll get up for my run also this morning I had a liter of water and lemon every morning before I eat always I have a liter of water and lemon then bef in between like breakfast and lunch I have usually half a liter to a liter then in between lunch and dinner, I have half a liter to a liter. And then um, after dinner, before bed, I usually have about another half a liter. So probably about three liters a day of water and lemon. I always put lemon in it too um, because it helps to make, bring the water back to life since we're drinking like dead water because it's been treated, which is good. But then like a lot of the nutrients and minerals are gone so it helps to remineralize the water bring it back to life and then obviously lemon has lots of vitamins in there as well helps to detoxify so yeah water like in the ocean or like rivers and waterfalls that's all like living water um some lakes some lakes are dead depending on how toxic they are like the lake that i live on lake ontario it is definitely dead water um unfortunately but yeah just what happens with um pollution so anywho that's my water intake for the day always filtered water as well not drinking that tap water just watching a squirrel like run through the garden <laughs> and see what it can find we used to like chase them out but not much left in the garden for it to eat anyways okay I'll see you after my run. Ooh, I just got back. So good. Sweating. That was such a nice run though. Um, I did 13 kilometers, like a bit of like a slower run. Like just taking it nice and easy. Um, yeah, it was beautiful. Kind of windy, but other than that, the sun was really nice. I had to take my cute hair out, sadly, but not before I took some selfies for Instagram, obviously. Which, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you want to, um, it is just Kelsey Drew. Oh, also, if you want to follow me on Strava too, post all my runs pretty much on there. It's also just Kelsey Drew. Um, but yeah, I post quite a bit on Instagram, lots of like food stuff on my like stories and yeah. What else? Okay, I'm hungry, but I think I'm gonna do a stretch first and then we'll eat some food. I'm on my ears, on my own, don't need nobody help Change your mind, wanna change mine Better stop believing in us So we out here looking for, looking for God And we never see it in us Should have find an adventure movie So hard to tell with a prick up You can find me dancing in between the range Mmm I'm so excited to eat Here is my lunch I have five of these massive bananas I don't know if I'm going to, uh, I probably will eat them all. Um, and then I have five medjool dates. And I have this big head of organic romaine lettuce. 
Mm, and this is what I do. Take a piece of lettuce and a piece of banana and I put it in here and a piece of date. Wrap it up. Um, which I will eat. I'll wait to eat when I'm done talking. Um, yeah, this will be good. What time is it? It's 1.30. Oh my goodness. Better get eaten. Oh, also, I wanted to tell you about the podcast I listened to when um, I was running. I really enjoyed it. And it's perfect because I was just talking about um, being more mindful, slow living, and wanting to meditate more. So I listened to a podcast by the, it's called the Slow Home Podcast. Um, and it was on meditation, acceptance, and relinquishing control with Kevin Jenks. Life in the time of COVID-19. It's a bit older. It's from May 2020, but still relevant. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. So that was helpful on my run. Um, okay. I think that's it. I'm just going to eat and then I should probably... Okay, here. Um, I should probably have a shower. Okay. I need a bite. All gone. I did it all. I literally could probably actually eat another banana, but I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> so I'm going to stop here. <laughs> so good though. Um, I went for a really nice hike. Um, I did some editing, looked for a movie for Blaze and I to watch tonight, and that's about it. Um, it's like 5 o'clock and I'm gonna start dinner now. Show you what I'm making, of course, but just wanna update you on what I've been doing, which is not too much. <laughs> it's been a really nice day though, I've been good about um, being a little bit slower and more mindful and not rushing through the day for absolutely no reason. Um, okay, I'm gonna put some potatoes in the oven and make a little salad. So I'll show you that. And then that's definitely gonna be all that I'm eating tonight. I might have a tea this evening, but yeah, that's it. Here are all the potatoes for Blaze and I about to go in the oven. Just regular yellow potatoes. Get these, this brand. This brand I've been buying from the grocery store, um, organic, since um, we've basically ate all the ones from the garden. My asparagus ready to be steamed for my salad. That's all you asking for Put my legs up on the dashboard Within my pocket is my passport Hello, good morning. So it's the next day and I just wanted to briefly go over all my calories and macros for the day. Um, I just imported everything into chronometer. So I am did my um, juices, my bananas, dates, peas, asparagus, tomato, um, dill, lettuce, maple syrup. I had a glass of tea after dinner with, and I put maple syrup in it, which I didn't show. Um, potatoes and parsley. So it ended up being um, 2,435 calories, which is pretty typical for me. I think. I don't often count calories, but I'm guessing a range around that 2,000 to 2,500. Um, and then I got 7% of my calories came from protein and 3% from fat, which I am happy about, 90% from carbs. So if we look over here, um, this is where it says where my protein is coming from. It's actually funny because most of the protein is coming from lettuce. Who would have guessed? And 
the yellow potatoes. So I got 56.8 grams of protein, which is 162% for the day. And that's only like 7% coming from, or 7% of my calories coming from protein. So I could literally probably get about 5% protein and still have enough for the day. So that's wild. That's so great. Not even trying to. I know it's like a concern for people on vegan diets especially eating high raw like i do um just worried about protein and where it's going to come from and you honestly really don't need to focus on it i find as long as i'm eating enough whole plant foods i get more than enough every single day and that's without even having any like beans or tofu just literally whole plant foods mainly raw so yeah okay so if we scroll down here, it's all my vitamins and minerals. So as you can see, some are not hitting 100%, which is totally fine. I don't worry about individual days. What I've done in the past is um, I've imported all my food for a whole month and then I kind of do an overview of the whole month which um, minerals or vitamins are low because I'm eating different things every single day so it's never going to be the same so just looking at one day and seeing that calcium is low it's not really giving me a good overview I found just tracking my nutrients for a whole month was way better for an overview um, and what I found was most days B12 and zinc are low which is pretty normal. It doesn't really matter what diet you're eating. It's really hard to get B12 and zinc through our food just because how it's like manufactured and grown nowadays. Um, just really depleted in those vitamins and minerals. So I just take supplements um, a couple times a week and that's great. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, that is my... Um, calorie and macro nutrient overview for the day. Like I said, I don't usually track calories. Um, I have a little bit in the past just to make sure I'm also getting enough calories. But yeah, now that I just have become more in tune with my body, I find it a lot easier to make sure like that I'm getting enough because if a day goes by that I'm not eating enough and I'm not getting enough calories, like I'm really going to notice just being in tune with my body. Um, it has taken a long time to get to that point of just knowing myself and knowing what I need. But now that I'm there, it feels really good, like I'm not having to track calories, not really having to worry about if I'm eating too much or too little, if I'm gaining weight or losing weight. I'm just staying at a good balance, which is really awesome. So yeah, okay, I think that is all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching, hope this was helpful, and I hope everyone is doing really well. Okay, we'll see you again soon, bye. Love me, love me, do you love me, love me, love me, do you love me?